Hi everyone, it's Plastic EP here again, and I got my my very good friend Chachi Lapret, <laughs> the name you can never forget, the person that the Beatles love. Ringo loves him, always calls him Chachi. Paul loves him and calls him Chachi. How are you today, Chachi? I'm doing great, Plastic. It's good to be here for third appearance, appearance number three in three days. Yeah, but you know what? I reckon number three is going to be the best. You know why? Why is I've that? Done something especially. I'm known for that black and white shirt that I wear, but I wanted to go out of my way, and this is what I've done. All right? Okay. Do you what see do you that? Ah, the Sergeant Pepper shirt. That's quite lovely. That is lovely. Well, now, you know, we've become good friends over the last three days, and I said, you know, I want to do another appearance with my buddy, Mr. E.P., Sorry, right, we got plenty of shows lined up. No one knows what's going on, but we do. Now, I've got to tell you, yesterday, I had a mind block, if we go back to yesterday, and I said, on the back of the Sergeant Pepper cover, I said, Paul's pointing to a word. So that after we finished the interview, I thought, I've got to go by recall, because I recalled that. So I went on the net to study, and I realized that it wasn't actually Paul that pointed to the word. It was actually George. And George points to the time of the supposed death of Paul on She's Leaving Home, Wednesday morning at 5 o'clock. He's actually pointing with his finger at that. So I don't have to be a big beetle buff, but I knew I was on track. Listen, so we, I had to make that clear. That's pretty good. We make mistakes on occasion, and you came with full disclosure. So yeah, that's right. But I had to go and do my research. You could have just let it go. You could have just let it go, but you said, no, I want to correct myself. So that's No, because I knew I was I was referring to something great. Now, this is the best part of the show. You know that. <laughs> show me your Beatles stuff. Okay, I've been digging out more stuff because I have stuff 30 miles away in a storage area. Of I course. have stuff packed in my garage, and I have stuff in my home. So I've okay. collected more things for the Show Me Your Beatles Stuff segment, which has been taken off. We're getting emails from all over the world. Saying, yeah, show me your Beatles stuff. That's and true. So, yes. And you know what? They're right. all into it, and I'm into it too. But let me tell you, I am going to show you, even though I'm a big monkeys collector, I never let the monkeys go. I'm going to show you my number one Beatle collectible, and I, I doubt you've seen it, and I doubt you even got it. Are you ready okay. for this? I'm going to blow the mind of the world. Do you believe me? You're ready. Let me strap in my seat here so I don't Please. go through the roof. Do the seat pull up because get ready for takeoff. Get okay, ready for take here we off. go, brother. Blow my mind. Hold get on. Ready for uh, take off when show me your Beatles stuff. Well, let me do this, Plastic. Hold on. Put that thing back up on the screen so I can read it. Plastic, show me your Beatles stuff. <laughs> okay. Now, you know how much trouble we had with the background yesterday? Let's hope we don't have it again, right? But here we go. The number one rarest Beatle comic in the world. I've got it. Del number one. But I'm going to tell you the difference and why it's the rarest. That is a comic there. The rarest Beatle comic in the world. Del number one. But let me tell you the big difference. The big difference why that's the rarest. In the wow. US over here where it said Del up there. Yeah. The normal there one is like 35 cents. Mine says export edition, and it's in shillings, 2.6 shillings, two, 2 shillings, 6 pence. You don't see that. The American well, version what... has got 35 cents. So that is why that is the rarest Beatle comic in the world. And as a monkey collector, you never expected me to have it. Well, uh, yeah, open that up. What's inside? It's all their life stories. Oh, it's all calm. Oh, that's great. I've never seen that. Yeah, but that's the rarest. And it's got, like, I'll give you an example. Here's Ringo's story. So it says his story, in 1964, it came out. Hang on. In 1964, ah. it came out. It tells his story. So there's Ringo. Hang on. It's worth looking at because you won't see it. Starts off. Look at this. Look at this. That's the inside of the first page, right? I've nice. got time for this because you won't see it. Nice. Nice. Good job. Then it starts off with a story. 
Watch. Says the Beatles. That's the, the starts off with that. And that's them in one of those, what is it, horse chariots from New York. Ah, uh, yes, one of those horse-drawn carriages. Did I tell you the story? Did I tell you the story what happened to me in New York? I've said it before, but it's you worth were, mentioning. Are you ready for this? Go ahead, do it. All right, me and my wife are in New York, right? And it's custom that you get on one of those carriages and go for a ride. I know. Right? I'm so what happened is, it's like 2 a.m. in the morning, but I see this horse and carriage, and my wife is 300 miles down the road. So I see this lady, and she's on a horse and carriage. So I go up to her, and I said, listen, can I go on a horse and carriage ride? She said, sure. I can take you around Central Park for $180. And I said, listen, I'm not looking to do the muggers tour at 2 a.m. to get mugged. Okay, I'm not interested in that. Can you just take me around a block, this and that, and take me to my hotel? She goes, all right. I'll do it for $90 or $80. And I said, listen, it's the end of the night. It's 2 a.m. Your horse is tired, wants to be fed. You're tired. You want to go home. I'll give you $35. She goes, you want 1970 prices? I said, yeah. And she did it for $35. I had to say well, that story. Good for you. I, I think that I hope that they're trying to stop that in New York because it's not good for the horses. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, thank yeah, you. There's unfortunate accidents, but let's not bring the show down. Let's continue no, no, with. Let's not talk about that. But look, did you like the rarest Beatle comic in the world? Was that a surprise? That's a very much a surprise. I'll email you my home address and mail it off whenever you'd like. Now, you know what goes with that one, don't you? You can't have that comic. You can't have that comic. Okay. Yeah, this comic. The original 1968 Yellow Submarine uh, comic. That's a good one. Have you that's seen a that? Good one. Yeah, I love it. I love it. That's a good one there, Plastic. You have a, you have a good one. So I'm off, to, oh, I'm off to a good start. You are. I'm off to a good start on show me your Beatles stuff, all right? Now, That's great. <laughs> now you show yeah. me what you want to show me, but that is my, my greatest items. I wanted to show you that as a friend. Okay, well, listen, I'm, I'm originating out of Boston. You're in Melbourne, Australia, all the way around the world. And yesterday you asked me if I needed a comb, a brush to comb my beetle right. hair. But I haven't had a haircut in like eight weeks. Exactly. So here is my beetle's hairbrush. Let's have a look. A beetle's hairbrush. You get the thing. Oh. That's fantastic. Now... I'm loving it. And as you can see here, you have the little guy brushing his hair, the girl, and they're all brushing their hair with the original Beatles brush. So a little item, but I pulled it out because you brought that up yesterday. This would work great for your hair. Not maybe not Thank for you. Mine. Now listen, have you got that giant comb? I was talking more about that giant comb that goes across your head. Giant comb, no. Can you find one of those? I don't have one. But I don't know where to get one. Maybe you have to go online to eBay or something. I don't know. No, you know what's going to happen. One of your friends, one of your fantastic Beatle friends around the world will, will mail you one of those. Anyway, That's let's awesome. see some more of your stuff. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, you know what I found? Look at this. Look at this little. Uh... Can you even see that? Yeah, I can see it. What is it? Come down a bit. Come down a bit. I see perfect. Come down. Stop. The Beatle Sergeant Pepper Lonely House Club Band Capital. And it says stuff. It says the songs there. That's fantastic. What is it? It's, oh. it's, a, it's a little eight-track tape. I've never seen a little one. Why it's is it so thin? It's a different configuration. What well, does it have an adapter? Does it fit in an adapter to make it fit in the car? Well, no, no, no. This is a special one for a different player. Okay, sorry. But you asked about eight-tracks. Yeah. I found my 8-track. Thank God your wife didn't throw them out. No, because you know what? I'm an 8-track guy. In the 70s, I drove in a nice little car, and I loved 8-track. So let's pull out a bunch of 8-tracks and see what we have. Please, but before we do that, a big hello to Stephanie, your wife, okay? Go ahead. Thank you. Hello, Stephanie. Thank you. Thank you. Um, here's one, and they're all in the little plastic bags. Here's the blue, album. the blue album. 
That's great. The concert for Bangladesh on eight track. That's fantastic. I love it. I love the programs on the back too. I love four different programs. That's great. Do you know what used to happen when they used to break the tape? You used to yeah. have to get glue, put it together, and glue yeah. it, and hope that it played. That's true. Look at this one. This is an original. Oh, that's a beauty. A beauty, too. Send that to my home address here in Melbourne, Australia. I will, I will do that. What else do we have? We have the George Harrison album. Oh, that's a beauty. Self-titled George Harrison album. Oh, look at this one. One of my favorite Beatle albums. On eight track, Beatles sixty five. Oh. oh, that's great! I love that. Isn't that great? Oh, that's fantastic. Let's see what else we have to show. Plastic. Ah, wildlife. Oh, that's fantastic! Can you read out a couple of songs from that? Wildlife, the animals in the zoo. Whatever happened to? Whatever happened? Hey, to. that's got maybe I'm amazed on it, hasn't it? No, no. This has. Love is Strange. Yeah, that's a top song. Love is Some Strange. Some people yeah. never know. Tomorrow. Yeah, Dear friend. Yeah. Hey, that's true. That's I'm true. in love with a friend of mine. I have an interesting one in here I'm going to pull out. Oh, let's see. Oh, here's one. This is a good one. Rubber Soul. Oh, that's a beauty to have that. They all that's work. all plastic. Yes, I got them individually wrapped. Oh, well, this isn't exactly the Beatles, but it's the Live and Let Die soundtrack. I'll have that one, too. Throw that one in with the other one. We'll make a package okay. deal. Okay, I'll put everything aside. Now, this is, a, this is a bootleg. Look at this one. The What's it say? It's orange. The History of the Beatles. Yeah, that's Perfect. bootleg, all right? There's no picture. Okay. Yes. Oh, look at this one. You ready? You ready for this one, Plastic? Of course, yeah. Oh, the John and Yoko one. You better get a piece of sticky tape or Band-Aid and put it across. Two virgins. That's rare. I'm covering the little butts. Yeah, that's right. Get some sticky tape. <laughs> There's a this lot of young rare. people watching this show. This one's rare. Of course it is. What time do you want the truck to come and collect everything? <laughs> we have to do a FedEx to Australia. I think so. What else? Oh, this one's rare. Well, it's not. It's it's not the Beatles. It's Elephant's Memory. John's band. That's great. I'm like Santa in my little bag of tricks here. Yeah, what's wrong with that? I appreciate you had eight track. Uh, this is the the Blue Album. Yep. Hold on. Oh, yes. Good night, Vienna sausage. Oh, that's a beauty. I call it good night, Vienna sausage. Why? Because it's funny. Vienna okay. sausage. Oh, here's a favorite album of yours. And it's in please, a black please, and please. white. This is a bootleg because the cover is in black and white. Oh, yeah. Red Rose Red Speedway. Speedway. It must be dodgy. Yeah, that's that's not in a that, that's a boot. Okay. Hold and on. you put it in the boot of your car. Yeah. This is another bootleg. Check this out. Lyric sounds. Paul Unbelievable Linda, what you got. The McCartneys. It's a configuration of the McCartney album and the Ram album, mm. but it's totally illegal bootleg. Where'd you find that in the flea market? Someone sent it to me. Okay. The Plastic Ono Band. Oh, this is the Yoko Ono Plastic Ono Band album. That's unbelievable. Why has it got a tree? <laughs> yeah, but that's like Wings Wildlife. No, but it has the, that's the Plastic Ono Band album. Yeah, I know, but has it, got a, has it got a picture of a tree on it? Or am I yeah, but they're, they're sitting against the tree. Okay, that's like wildlife a bit, isn't it? Kind of, yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. And this is another boot. It's called The Story of the Beatles. Yeah, that's good too. 
No so, wonder they give you that rubbish. The bootlegs they can't get rid of it. I know. They I give know. It to you, and you're a sucker, and you take it. I'm putting it in my Santa sack. Those are my eight tracks. I have hey, more. I'm really now listen. I really want to move on to the singles, right? So I want to see. Wait, I'm going to kick off the singles. Okay. You saw. You saw some of my. You saw the Red Beetle comics. Now I'm going to move on to the singles and keep my other stuff for the next show. But watch this. Hang on. Where Look at you? this. Okay. You know how you showed me this. I've got to show you. Did you have the records? Did you have the records in your album? I have that 45. and I have the album. No, That's no, no. This one you showed me yesterday. Yeah, the I've double got the records, Mint, yes. the two of them. Never been played since 67. Never been played. That's nice. Is that nice? It's beautiful. Okay, now I'm going to show you the others. Bear with me a minute because I had to dig everything out of a box. Look at this. <laughs> Look at these. Have you seen these? These are Japanese. Oh, yes. I love the Japanese releases. I'll go through them. Go ahead, one at a time. Yeah, there's no rush. You'll fill in the hour. <laughs> okay. That's the first one. Hang on. Stuck together. That's the back of the first one. So that's okay. the first one. Yep. What's the song on it? Like Penny Lane or something? Or, oh, Act Naturally. What was the other one? It's in Japanese. I can't read it. No, no, no. To the up there, it's, it says it. I saw "Act Naturally" written there, almost to yeah, the. Yeah, that's middle. right. Act natural. Well done. I found it. It's tiny. Act and naturally. What's, what's on the and other yesterday. side? Ah, okay. See, okay, good. See that I saw it, and I'm a million miles away. I don't know how you do it, man. Wow. All right, look at this one. How good is this, Sergeant Pepper? Oh, I love that. That's a great cover. Seen that. I had never on the seen back, that one. It's just green. That's why you don't yeah, see it. Yeah, it just says Toshiba EMI. Exactly. Now, I'm going to read out the songs now. You got me going. From me to you. Thank you, girl. That's Oh, I love that. That's a great picture. I love that. Very, very nice. Once I find out how we get this going, it's great. All right. Not too bad. Yep. These are great, aren't they? I love them all. All right. The Battle of John and Yoko, Old Brand Shoe. Very good. I love that. I love Old Brown Shoe. They reckon Brian Jones played on that. Trumpet or yeah, something? I think so. Right, that one there. Same picture as the other one, and the songs are. And I love it if I fell. I love If I Fell. Beautiful track. That's great. I'm getting better at this. You are. You're getting very good. It's that background. It's crazy. Yeah, I know. That's crazy. Let, let me see now. A Hard Day's Night. Things We Said Today. Same picture. What is it with these dudes? I know. That's awesome, though. It's still going the same picture. I might as well just call out the songs. I know. It's it's. You, you think they put different pictures so people don't get confused. They'll think they still have it. Please, please, me, money. Money. That's what I want. Now we go to a different one. Get this. This is better. Look at this. Something and come together. It's on green, right? Yeah. But watch the back. The back is the best. Look at that. Uh, I have those. Yes. Right. I do Next have one. Those. Can't bump. Can't buy me love. You can't do that. Yep, I have that too. Oh yeah. Those are re-releases, like from the 80s or something like that. I'll just go this. Love me, dude. P.S. I love you. I love you, too. Oh, the Thank song. You. Thank you. Right. Please, please, me. Ask me why. Don't ask me. Don't ask him why. I love that. Thank you. Why do they keep using the same pictures, these people? Right. Here's the other one. I can't see. Hang on. Long tall Sally, I'll call your name. Same picture. That's bad know, marketing. We're still people going. Oh, this, hey, this one you're going to like. Hang on. 
Oh, bloody, oh, blada. My guitar gently weeps. Don't tell me this is the best picture so far. Let's see. Oh, yes. I love that. I love George's hat. That's great. It's How's this one? Down. This one's going to blow your mind, too. Hang on. Nowhere, man. What goes on? Ah, that's a good picture. I've never seen that. That's another Japanese release. Now, that's how they put out. That's how they should put out 45s. Different photographs. Yes. We send that one to your house? Please do. Overnight it. FedEx. <laughs> Yellow submarine, Eleanor Rigby. Okay. They got to right. change up all right. photos. Right. This is the last one I'm going to show you. Then we'll cross the Then I'll show you more stuff. This one here is eight days a week and no reply, but a great cover. Great cover from the uh, from the early Beatles or Beatles for Sale album. Yes. That's it. Exactly. Okay, I'll cross over to you now. You show me something and I'll go back. Okay, I'm going to do 45s for a little bit then. Yeah, me too. Okay. Here is um, the Beatles on Swan Records. She loves you. Yep, I like that. Just aim it forward a bit. Yeah, put the top of it down, going down a bit, and let's see the angle. Oh, no, no, the other way. You got it. That's the way. Perfect. I love that photograph. I love the boots, and I love how George is holding on to Ringo. That's great. Okay, here's an American release. I am the walrus. Price yeah, I like that. Right. Send that to my house. With the nice, you know, the I love the orange and yellow swirl of the American Capitol Records 45. See that? Of course. Here's one from I like that. Hello, goodbye. I am the walrus. Here is one from Barcelona. Oh, yeah? I love this photograph. Oh, that's a ripper. It's an EP plastic. That's great. You put it back in the little uh, sleeve here. Please, take your time. Now, look at this one. This one is from Brazil. That's great. The twist and shout. We got, we got a, we got, well, a, we got an Australian uh, single came out early like that of twist and shout. Same picture. Look at the back. I want to hold your hand. Go for it. You're not looking. Oh man, that's great. Now this is an early one on Tolly. Look at this one. This is old. You're not looking. I am looking. That's great. <laughs> now, here's what I've only seen a couple of pictures of the Beatles playing golf. And this yeah, yeah, I've seen that too. Yes. Where's this from? France. Chanson du film Hill. This one Good is another one. This, was, this one's from Scandinavia. Oh, fantastic. Gets cold up there. It does. <laughs> this one is from Paris, France. Even better. Hello, Submarine. This is an EP, EP. Yellow That's Submarine right. for no one. Eleanor Rigby, Good Day Sunshine. Unbelievable. Here's one of my favorite Beatle photographs. This is an American release. Yeah, and I love, I that. love her. And if I fell... And, of course, you have the orange and yellow swirl. Exactly. All right, one of my favorite 45s from America. Help oh, I love that. Down. I love that. Yes. Here's another one from VJ. Yeah, I like that too. That's brilliant. That's lovely. Here's a 45 from Mexico. Even better. EP. She loves you. I want to hold your hand. I saw her standing there, and I'll get you. That's unbelievable. Here's another one from uh, Mexico. Two from Mexico. Show me. Oh, that's great. 
Yellow submarine with a little help. Good night, and octopus is gone. Fantastic. Here's one from Japan. Even better. For you, Blue, and the long and winding road. Here's another one from America. Oh, here's another here's another swan one, a double. We saw this one already. I have multiples. Here's one from Japan. Yep. Uh, do you remember Murray the K, the New York? Of course, I do remember Murray the K. Murray the K put out a forty-five. Even Howard. better. The Beatles and Murray the K. It's an interview forty-five, and he he does it on location in England while they're making a hard day's night. Fantastic. Those are my forty-fives. All right, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you something I got. Right. I'm waiting. I know you're into the Australian stuff, right? I am. I love the Australian stuff. All right, this is rare. Do you see that? Beetle number one. Oh, that's great. And I'll tell you what's on it. I've got to keep removing my glasses now. Hang on. I saw us standing there, misery on one side, Anna and Chains on the other. How big is I, that? I love that. I love that. Are there a Have lot you ever of seen them? it? Have you ever what? seen it before? I've never seen it, but let me ask you something, plastic. Are there yeah. a lot of forty? Are there a lot? Are there a lot of Beetle? I'm sorry. Are there a lot of record stores that sell old Beetle records like that in Australia? Yeah, you got to go and look for them. Yeah, you know what it is. People die, and then the records, the record collection comes up for sale, and right. you got to go find them. Right. Right. You know, you showed me that cover. That's the cover that came out here, Twisted That's Shout. Right. That was an EP too, right? Twisted Shout, Paper Honey. Do you want to know a secret? And there's a place. It's another EP. I love There's a Place. Have you seen this one? I have it. Because it's Australian. Oh, that particular one's Australian. I don't have that. I have the one everyone, from the UK. Everyone I'm showing you now is Australian. Everyone. Another Australian one. Oh, I love that. So what's that? Let me guess. Is that That's yes, what, it is? That's an EP too. From me to you, thank you, girl. Please, please, me, let me do. Australian. Oh, that's, that's great. I love those Australian 45s. Love them. Australian. I love, oh, I love them. That's my favorite album cover. Again, another EP. All oh, my loving, ask me why money, peace, I love you. I love it. Now, this is the one you got. Requests, I love that too. I play that on my show. I play but, vinyl on my radio show. I have a yeah, but I'm table. saying you got that. Say that again. Didn't you show me this one last time? You own it. Yeah, I have that. You know, when we do your radio show, I'm just saying. You know what's really good? We'll be able to. You'll be able to play my favorite songs, beta ones, won't you? I definitely will. In fact, okay. I can give you. I can give you a website where you can go and you can listen to some of my old shows. I will. I'll look it up now. You already got this. I have that too, both in 45 and album. That's right. I have you, too, but this is the Australian, right? Right. And you told me yesterday that John Lennon didn't like that photograph. No, he hated it. He told the mafia in Australia, the record company, he said, what are you doing that? You make us look like rubbish. You need <laughs> the one. No, this is serious. He got really upset. He said, you need the American picture where we're half shaded in black. Yes. Like, like the Beatles in the States. He got upset. That's Wow. Have oh, you seen I love that? that? Yep, that's a great one. Yeah, but have you seen it? I mean, yes, I have it. And okay, it, that's a strange one. I'll follow the sun, babies in black, Kansas City. I don't want to spoil the party. But look at Paul and Ringo's eyes. Are they a little weird there in the picture? Yeah, but how did you get the Australian one? Someone gave it to you. Oh, no, 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 no. I have the UK one. I'm sorry. But Thank look you. At, look at Paul and Ringo's eyes in the photograph, though. Kind of weird. Yeah. Googly eyes. But let me tell you, this one's made in Australia, made and distributed in Australia, right? Uh, so I, have, I have the UK collection. This one? Yesterday. I have the UK, but that's a yeah, Australian one? Yeah, of course. Everything I show you is Australian now. Yesterday, it's only love side two. You like me too much, Dizzy Miss Lizzie. Is that unreal or what? 
That's fantastic. I love that photograph. Okay. You haven't seen this one. We saw the one before requests, the one you got. Yes. But this one's called More Requests. Have you seen wow. that? Wow. I don't have. I've never seen that. Well, we'll see what we do when I come to America or if I do FedEx. Hang on. <laughs> this one's got slowed down matchbox on one side. Till it was you and I want to be a man. How big's uh, that? I tell you, they were oh, look at that. I love that in the back. That is great. I tell you, the Beatles in Australia were huge. People in Australia love the Beatles. Now hang on a sec. I've got one here that's Australian only, right? Just give me yeah. two seconds. Now, while Plastic EP is away, it's a good opportunity for me to say my show is called Breakfast with the Beatles in Boston, New Hampshire, and Maine. So look up Google Breakfast with the Beatles Chachi, C-H-A-C-H-I, and you'll be able to find my show, and you can listen anywhere in the world. And today's Plastic EP show is brought to you by... <laughs> He's back. The Beatles. The Beatles. <laughs> what do you got? <laughs> okay, you haven't seen this one. No. This is called Further Requests. This, oh is my God. Of them. this is photos of them in Sydney, right? And you know the great thing? I got two copies here. Ah, two. Now let's see the back of the 45. <laughs> Look at that. There's the wow. other one. Right. That's well, turn it around. What's it on the back? Oh, there it is. Can you read that? Oh, yeah, I can see it. I'm getting better. There you go. She loves you. I want to hold your hand. Roll over Beethoven and can't buy me love. That's great. And they're holding gold records. Is that what they're holding in the back? Yeah, that's what they're holding. Look. Wow. I've got two, as I said. Can, can I show you a gold record? Yeah, come on. Now, many years ago, I had a friend who worked on the movie Caveman with Ringo. Remember the yeah. movie Caveman? And yeah, Ring, you know the suit that he wore? like an animal yep. suit there were a couple of them and i acquired one because i knew one of the producers of the movie and so i held i held it under my desk at the radio station for a number of years and then someone who was very well to do in the industry saw it and he really wanted it and i said i don't really want it it's a dead animal it's not like, it's not like you can hang it on the wall it's sitting in a box i don't really want it and it had ringo's name on the inside he wore it you know and so I traded it for this gold record that was awarded to George Harrison. That's great. I'd rather have the record. Now, here's the. Can you read the plate? Can you read it? Yep, that? that's great. Beatles for sale. Awarded to George Harrison. Yep, it says Beatles for sale, yeah? Yeah. I like it. I can read it. It's fine. Presented to George Harrison. That's that amazing. I'd rather have that. Yeah, that's right. What did you do with that um, suit? Did you used to hold your leg with it under your desk? I traded it for the gold record. Yeah, but you're not getting the joke. It must have been cold in the studio. You're warming your legs with it. <laughs> no, it was in a box. <laughs> you're funny. Did okay. you like that or not? I have other things. Shall I continue? Yeah, you continue. Go for it. This is one of the set of the I, – I didn't blow it up all the way. It's been in No, storage. that's good. They're, they're those dolls, Lux dolls that you sent away from the that's side. Right. That's right. And then I have a box of these. I have so many of these. Traveling Wilbury on board. That's you great. Put, you put them in your car window there, right? Great. Uh, here's my copy of A Spaniard in the Works. Yeah, that's good. The original book. Yes. Now, this one, you know those old gumball machines, you know, yeah, you put a penny in? Yeah. These were, these were in a gumball machine. That's great. Hey, kids, we're here. See, the Beatles are right there for 10 cents. That's unreal. And then, you know, I think they, in the 90s or the 80s, maybe they came out with these coins. Did you ever see these? No, we didn't have them yet. Limited edition coin for each record. Of course. And I have the entire set. 
All the elves. That's unbelievable. Yeah, it comes with a blooming boog. I love the stuff you showed me today. Okay. And then this came out, you know, I forget what year this was. 1996, these came out. A complete set of Beatles Zippo lighters. That's unreal. Oh, I love that. Look at that. Oh, that's great. I love the box. Yeah, the box is awesome. So you put the little lighters in there, you know. And the good thing is you don't smoke, so they're mint. I don't smoke. That's right. Brand new, still in the box. And then oh, I got a few of these. Yeah, show me. Complete. Oh, yeah, yeah, the bubblegum box. I got one of those. Complete box. Oh, that's good. Complete box with cards in it. And look at this. I don't know where this came from, but it's a nice little thing of John, isn't it? That's a beauty. It's really a good one. You haven't got the little statue of John, have you? That was made like a ceramic one. It's a ripper, that one. Yeah, I have that. Oh, you know what this is? There's a little loop on the head. Of, this might be a Christmas tree ornament. I think so. See the loop in his head there? Exactly. That's what it's for. Or to <laughs> dangle it from your rearview mirror on your car. As you're driving along, he can see. He prefers to stay in this little plastic. Okay. And this little bit of plastic. Okay. Okay. Hold on. I'm moving over. Move over. Oh, yes. Listen to this playing card. John Lennon. Unbelievable. You have anything else? Yeah, I'm going to show you now on oh. Show Me Your Beatles Stuff. Don't fall over. Show Me Beatles Stuff. <laughs> okay. Here's the Beatles' biggest seller. You ready for this? I'm ready. All right, here we go. Ah, I was by request. <laughs> Ah. Wait a minute. Ah. Yeah, but I'm going to show you something what's underneath. You ready? Go ahead. The biggest seller is underneath. That was a trick. It's Hey Jude there. Ah. And on the back, Revolution. See the apple? I do. That's, that's the original what... one. I love it. I love it. I love it. You know, I Never love it. I love the sleeve, the black sleeve with the apple script and green. Really nice. I loved that. Have you got that? Not from Australia, but I've got it. Okay, now, watch this. I don't know if you've seen these. These are amazing. These came out from Capital, and they're colored vinyl, right? Colored vinyl with a jukebox slip oh, of paper okay. saying the name of the song for a jukebox. They're rare. I saw them. I didn't know what they were. I thought they were fake. But because of the capital label, that's green. That is great. We, you know, where'd you get those? That's, that's an American record or Australian? It's American. It's got tax man. And it's got birthday on it. Uh, I'd love to have a jukebox. It's colored vinyl. It is, you know. I'm looking for the slips of paper. Just hang on. Yeah, those little tags that tell you. I've got it. I've got it. It's here. Everyone has got a tag. But what happens is the tag's fallen down. Hang on. Look at this. From an actual jukebox. They printed it and did it for you. Ah, there it is. That's great. Look at that. Tax man and birthday on a green vinyl. How big is that? That is really interesting. Tax man and birthday. Wow. Now look at the next one. I'm doing them slowly, right? And I'll yeah. tell you the color in case it doesn't come up. This one's actually pink, right? Pink vinyl. Have you seen pink vinyl? Oh, my Lord. Look at that. Wow. Okay, what's the song and where's the tag? I'll get the tag out. There's a place. Twist and shout. Pink vinyl. I love Let me it. get the tag. The tags are really interesting. Here it comes. You ready? They fall to the bottom of the record. Ah, there it is. Is that interesting? Those are great. I love those. They're very unique. And uh, they are from jukeboxes. I loved jukeboxes when I was a kid. They came out in the 90s, believe it or not. Yeah. Here's another one. Things we said today. A hard day's night. I'll tell you the colored vinyl. Guess what? It's white. Ah, nice. I love it. That's unbelievable. 
Those are great, great stuff, my friend. Have you never seen them? I never saw those. Not, not in colored vinyl. Ah, uh, it's amazing what I got here. And I'm a Monkees fan, so it's pretty good here. We'll would, you like the play, tag. would you like to play pinball? Pinball? That's a beauty. That's a beauty. Look at this. That's fantastic. I'm impressed. Oh, that's a ripper. Yellow submarine, yeah? That's a ripper? What does that mean? That's a ripper is like an Australian expression, and I've got a record that says that's a ripper. I'm going to show you all these other albums, Australian albums, another time from the 70s. Okay, and it's yeah, a, you do that. The word called Bogan, and Bogan means like Australian hillbilly of the 70s, and they had mullet hair more than yours. I'll go into oh. that another time with you, but look at this. That's the strip. Oh, yes. No, turn Can it off. There it is. If we said today. There it is. Okay, hang five now. Just wait. I haven't got too many left, but I'm lucky I bought more than one. I got two more to go. Watch this. Hey, Jude. Let's see it. And Revolution. And the color vinyl is blue. Oh, I love that. That's a nice shade of blue, too. I love that. Is that great? That's awesome. Hang now, on a minute. Did, Let me finish off the two. How did you acquire those? I walked into a store, a record store, and on the counter is these Beatle singles, and I looked at them and I said, are they real? Are they dodgy? But because they've got the capital label lock, I go, they must be a special release, and no one knew anything about them, and I just picked up five or six of them and just bought them. In Australia? Yeah, in Australia, in Melbourne. How much in, in American money did that? How much in American money did those cost? Five bucks or something? I don't know. They might have cost eight dollars, ten dollars because they were special. Here's the thing. And you got those a long time ago. Of course I did. And they're mint. Hang on. And hey, they've Jude. never been played. Get that. Yeah, that's good. Hey Look Jude that. and Revolution. That's great, man. I love the pink going on the pink. Hang on, last one. I've got to show you the last one. I'm amazed with the color. If you've got a jukebox, you put these in a jukebox, they look unreal. They look great. Have you got a jukebox? Anybody given you a jukebox yet? I used to have one, but I didn't like it, so I got rid of it. All right, listen. Now, the good thing about this one is, hang on, this boy, and I want to hold your hand, but you know what's good about it? What? It's got that plastic thing in the middle you know it's got a plastic to allow it to play oh in the spindle you mean yeah but look at this this one is red because it's clear it's actually clear oh look at that you can see right through it put it up to your yeah, back that's I, can right. I can see your face through the uh, record you've got a lucky face <laughs> have you ever seen clear before i have not well how rare is that look at this There I want to hold him this boy. Yep. Is that amazing? I love it. All right. Show me some of your Beatles stuff. <laughs> now look at this. This was a gift that someone gave me. Well, let me set it up here. I don't want them to drop out of the box. But look at these are little ceramic beetles. Abbey Road. Crossing, crossing Road. Abbey Road. That's unreal. And they're pretty heavy. You've been doing back with the Beatles for 28 years, you see. Say that again? You've been doing breakfast with the Beatles for oh, 28 yeah. years, is that correct? About 25 years, yes. Yeah. In yeah, but world. you must have a house full of accumulate. You must have a house full of accumulated stuff that everybody sent you. I do. Like, for instance, here, these are, are some of the albums and tons of books and Beatles stuff. See, I'm getting ready to go and tape my show tomorrow. And then back here, more books and collections. And then, let me, I'm going to unhook you out of here. 
And let me bring you to my music room. This is where this is all my my music. This is my closet. Forty fives. Forty fives. So that's the music room. See that? That's see amazing. Three, see where it says solo there? Those are yep. three boxes filled with forty five. Unbelievable. I'm carrying you around, you know. That's really good. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me. I gotta, oh, I got to plug you back in. That's all right. My gold record for George Harrison just fell. Okay, fix it. All right, so good. Okay, I got a few more items. That's good. I want to go through the items. It's perfect. And they got me a little pillow, you know. Everybody hey, has that's really pillow. good. I've seen that before. Yeah, you've seen that before. That's a beauty. No, no, a friend of mine had it. Oh, yeah? That's rare. If you ever cut yourself, we have some Beatles uh, help uh, Band-Aids. That's great. So I pulled out some little things for you today because I love sharing what I have, and I know you enjoy it. I do. Uh, oh, I got it. Be traveling Wilbury's bag. Oh, I like that. Very nice. And so, oh, you ever see the big George Harrison box set? This thing is amazing. Look at this thing. All of Where'd George's out. What is that? It's the big George Harrison box set. What? All records, every record he made. Look at it changes. That's amazing. Yes, it's all the albums, all the solo albums, Wonderwall, all electronic music, all things was passed, all of his solo albums. Chachi, I've never seen it. Is it see, sealed? Is it? You see how that changes? Yep. You never opened it? Oh, I opened it. It's all albums. How all heavy is that? Band. What? How heavy is that? How's your back? It's heavy. And this was a gift. This retails for about $495, and it was a gift from a friend. Imagine that. Yeah, but you know what? you got very good friends. My friends give me nothing. <laughs> I think because I'm on the radio, and I've been on for so long, people send me stuff. Yeah, but that's the best thing. You don't have to buy it. <laughs> yeah. I know. I didn't buy the three butcher covers. They were all gifts. What about T-shirts? Did they send you a lot of T-shirts, Beetle T-shirts? Yeah, I get T-shirts. I keep them in a different package, a different box, so they don't go bad. That's uh, great. I'm extra large size. Extra large size. <laughs> I will do that. Um, but then, you know, I also have the, um, the mono box set. And then the, the, the blue box at the top there, those are all the 45s that just been re-released. Have you seen oh, that? That's great. Is that the new box? Yes. Could you show me that? I haven't seen it. Yeah, it's beautiful. And I this was sent to me as well. How many of those have you got? Two or one? They only sent me one. Who put it out? EMI? Capital, yes. Do you, uh, do you have you been inside Capital? Yes, in LA, yes. Okay, hang on a minute. I want to talk to Capital. Capital Records out there. This is a place to keep Pete. Now, you know I'm plugging the Beatles every day. Is it possible for you to send me one of those blue boxes? Please send it to Chachi, care of Plastic EP, and we'll continue doing the show. Okay? Thank you, Capital Records. And they're 45 from all over the world. Yeah, I've got to get that. Reproduced. Okay. Can you ring up Capital after this interview and talk to them? Yes, I can. Los Beatles. Oh, that's beautiful. Hey, are they going to sing like Cucaracha on that? <laughs> There's some in there from Australia, I think. I don't see anything there from Australia. That's all come from Mexico. That's great. Thank you yeah. for showing me. It's a beautiful What's that retail character? for? Um, about $220. That's great. I'm sure Capital can afford it. That's a singles collection. That just came out a year or so ago. Great. And Capital sent me one, which was very, very nice. Don't worry. I'm sure it's coming to Australia, Melbourne. I'll give you my address later. <laughs> I'm going to come to Melbourne. 
Only if the trip wasn't so long. It's a long plane ride. I told you, if you come, I'll take you to the best Italian place. Uh, you will love it. And there's actually one in the casino. I told you, this guy's got three, four shops. He's also yep. got one in the Yarra Valley. Let me tell you about the Yarra Valley. The Yarra Valley is one hour out of Melbourne. It's a wine district. They've got beautiful wineries there. You sit there, you relax, you see the mountains, you see the scenery. You would love it. But Even you don't drink wine. Do you drink wine? I've never drank alcohol in my life. Okay, that's all right. But would you try a little bit of wine? I'll okay, throw up right. on you. I'll throw up on your shoes. All right, but you drink water, don't you? I drink uh, sparkling water, and that's I love. Good. And I yeah, am no a problem. regular drinker of my Coke Zero. Hey, I like yeah. sparkling water too. You know what? What? Now. I don't want to show you any more stuff. We've got another 10 minutes to go. What else can you show me there while you're there? And then we'll have a bit of a talk, and that will be this session. Okay. Let me see what I've done. Where is that record? I want to see. Now, do you remember... Uh, United States President Lyndon Baines Johnson, President yeah. Johnson, yeah, they, put out this, they put out this comedy record, Lyndon Johnson's Lonely Hearts Club. <laughs> That's amazing. Like the Beatles. It's a, it's a comedy record, and I just had to say, I saw it in the store, and I had to have it's it. It's great. You still with me? Hold on. Yeah. yeah. Hold on. Yep. Yeah. And after that, I've got something very good to show you. I might as well show you in this show. Here's an album that's very rare, worth a ton of money. I don't know if you know the story behind it, but it's the John Lennon Roots album. Yeah, I know the story behind it. Off of television? Yeah, I know the story behind it. Yeah, this is my copy. It's awesome. I love it. Where do you get that? Um, Unbelievable what he's got. All right. <laughs> you ready for what I'm going to show you? Okay, let me buckle in because you know what? When I see that scroll come along in the bottom that says, show me your Beatles stuff, ah, I know you're going to hit me with something major. Uh, I, oh, I, I don't know. I need that. It's I need good because we've got it. another eight minutes. I want to show you Australian stuff that no one's seen. Now, you know, I told you about Ripper. Watch this. Yes. That's an Australian album that came out in 1976, and they ripped the girl's pants and put the words on it behind. Only in Australia. Okay, you got the Bee Gees in there. Stephanie loves the Bee Gees. Roxy Music. I love Roxy Music. Split Ends. Donna Summer, who's from Boston. Um, let's see, John English, Billy Ocean, Nazareth, Thin Lizzy, 10 CC. I love 10 CC. I'm not in love. That's right. I'll just get her behind a bit closer to you. That's awesome. That's her pants. Is that her butt cheek ripped there? Right. That's 76. Watch. This is Ripper 77, the year later. Ah, let me see that. Please. The, BG, the BGs again. Gladys Knight and those crazy pips. Roger Daltrey, Status Quo, The Studs, Yvonne Elliman. Um, let's see, Peter Gabriel. Wow. I love Have that. Have you ever read, ever read a song? Songs from a woman's behind before? That can only happen never, in Australia. I've never, I've never read that. <laughs> Hang on, here's another one you like. What's this? What's this one? Bo uh, what? What does it say? Full bore. Full bore. <laughs> yeah, but watch, watch the resemblance. What, what, what's the resemblance? Hang on. Do, oh. we look, <laughs> do we look the same or what? He's plastic PIG and you're plastic <laughs> EP. <laughs> Read that. that. Now, what's the, you got a poster in there, full large? No, poster. the poster didn't come. He hasn't got the poster. 
I love that boar. That's great. He's a pla he's a full boar. Hang on. I want to get the songs up. Ah, okay. Let's see. Rupert Holmes, the Boomtown Rats. I don't like Mondays. Dave Edmonds. Wow. Girl talk. I love Dave Edmonds. Yeah, me too. Can you read that? Yeah, it's let's get to the side. other side. Hold on. Sniffing the tears. Driver's seat. Awesome, dude. Keep going. Oh, Ry Cooter. Which one is Ry Cooter? Which it's song is one. that? Driver's seat, Ry Cooter. Ry Cooter, what's the song? Second side. Little Sister. I love that Little Sister. That's a version of Elvis Presley. Right, cool. There it is. Little Sister. Little Sister, don't you? I love that song. I, I love, love the way you spell them. You know what came out in 1969 that's rare? What's that? This is rare. You know why? Charged hits. Why? No, supercharged hits because that tire of that car was only made in Australia with a red rim, red rim around it. They used yeah. to call it Red Line. Only in Australia did they... Have those tires for sport cars. Like if you had a car that was hotted up, you'd go and buy those tires with the red line. You see the red line? So yes. this came out in 1969. And what's on it is it's got the monkeys. My, oh my my. It's got Sugar Sugar by the Archies. Another no, song. Now what song you know by the monkeys? Yeah, what's the song by the monkeys on that record? Oh my my. I don't know that song. Yes, it is. It's at the end. The monkeys do it. Look it up. Oh, my, my. I know there's a Ringo, oh, my, my. No, no, no. This is the monkeys do it. Oh, my, my. What am hang I doing hanging around? Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. On. You're talking, oh, my, my. Just wait. I should be on that train and gone. And gone. I should be riding on that train. Train and train Yeah. You know what I do for you? What's that? This is I special, too. Just I gotta tell you, I, I really love Plastic EP. He's the greatest. Hang five now. I'm gonna show you my Australian only monkey singles, right? Because we've got time. Here we go. Mary, Mary never came in a colored sleeve. What? Mary, Mary, where what? are you going to? Flip side. If so, what am I doing hanging around? Your favorite song. There it Australian. is. What am I doing hanging around? Can you read that? I should be on that train and gone a little bit. You know what, DP? I Can should be that? riding on that train to San Antonio. What am I doing hanging around? Have Look, you ever been if you... Look at that. Oh, I love that. It's nice, nice to, to be, be with, with you. you. I have some monkeys 45s. I'm going to have to pull those off for our next Don't worry, I'll just keep going through here now. That's the I alternative version there. That's, that's a ripper. It's got... Hang on. No. Alternative version. Ra Randy Scout, get, forget that girl. Now, what does it say? Ask for the monkeys albums. They put a little. Uh, yeah, a little banner to sell them. A little banner to sell them. That's awesome. And on the That's back, it actually lists the monkey singles. Can you read that? That came out in Australia in their code. A little bit. That uh, background. There it is. Forget that girl. Oh, yeah. That's I awesome. I were they on oh, RCA? Yeah. But they were they on RCA Records? Yeah, in Australia, RCA oh. put them out. Oh, interesting. Interest. Oh, there you go. Look at that. That's great, man. I love that. I love the monkeys. Underappreciated. Oh, we're going. Watch this. Australian release only. I want to be free. You just might be the one. Love this. I want to be free. Like, like a bluebird. Flying by, by me like the waves the, of the, the blue, blue sea. sea. What's look, the other song? What's the other the song? Logo. Oh, you just may be the one. I don't know that one. That that's the best song by Mike Nismith. Haven't you heard that? I All don't men must have someone, have someone who'd never take advantage of the sun right as the sun. Someone to understand them, and you just may be the one. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I do know that one. Go on you somewhere, a little bit uh, me, a little bit you. Straight okay, release how, only. How does the girl I knew somewhere go? Because I know that I love that track. I just can't do, do my thing. 
That's a great song. All right. Daydream Believer going down. Going down. The One of the first rap records. I talked to Mickey about that. I said, now, Mickey, I think Going Down is probably one of the earliest rap tracks with it a is. lot of that scat going on. I'm going it is, down. but let me tell you this now. I want you to see this so you understand what's going on in Australia, okay? Yeah. The first record for sale in Australia on the monkeys is ECP, right? Four songs. The first one, it's Thief from the Monkeys, song number one, Saturday's Child, tomorrow's going to be another day and take a giant step. That is the first record to go on sale in Australia. Then wow. the album came out. Now this is volume two of the same thing. So we saw the blue one. That was volume one. This is volume two. And it's I'm a Believer, Papa Jean Blues. This doesn't seem to be my day and dance on. So these two ones together, that's your intro into Australian monkey history, those two. And then and they're on those root beer barrels or something. So the blue one first, volume one, and the red one second. How great's that? So let me ask you, in your house, do you have a turntable all set up and everything? No, I don't play records, I just collect them. Like these are my rec these are my orig original records from the sixties. I don't I have play. A That's the big one came out December 1966. I'm a believer. The big song with the flip side. Yeah. I'm not I'm I'm not your stepping stone. Not your stepping stone. Uh, da, hey, get this one. This one is very rare. It came out in New Zealand, right? In New Zealand only. Look at this. That's our rarities. Uh wow, that's cool. That and I'll tell you the cool. songs on it. I want to be free. Last train at Clarksville. I'm not your stepping stone and she. That is so is so rare. That's awesome. Okay, we're still going. I want to show you. Here's one from overseas. Your favorite song, Thief from the Monkeys and Mary Mary. I love it. Look at that. I've got it in pick for you. That is beautiful. Right. Another one from overseas, a little uh, the girl on you somewhere, a little bit me, a little bit you. That's a photo taken from the pilot episode. Ah, okay. Right? Still going. Now, this is really good. This came out in 1967. And guess what? what? Came from Japan. And it's got a calendar in it. A calendar. Wow, a calendar. Watch this. Look at that. Who gets this? So here's the record in its sleeve, original. And here's the calendar. Watch this. Folds out. I've got to show you this stuff. Yeah, show me. Look, the top of it. Watch now. We're getting a good picture there. Oh, Lord, look at that. See the calendar. That's fantastic. And look on the other side got pictures of them yep i can see it okay i want to sing you a song you go you can tell me what song it is go for it i'm floating down the river with a saturated liver yeah, and I she could give her, but you don't believe she meant it and told me to forget it i bet she will regret it when she find me in the morning wet and, wet dry. and drown and the word gets yeah. round du -du -du going, down. going down great song. going down you know that's the first first song of its kind that's like, how do you describe that genre? It's like a rap. Yeah, exactly. Coming up for air and it's pretty stuffy under there. I'd like to say I didn't care, but I forgot to leave a note. So it's Here's another cover funny. from overseas. Let me see that. Cool. All right. I'll just keep going through this. Here's the other one of the same one, but two different songs. <laughs> now, i got to show you, I'm a believer and I'm not your stepping stone, different cover. And this I is another it. one. Look at that. I'm a believer going down. That's a beauty. Daydream believer. Yeah, daydream believer. You said I'm a believer. So well, you got I'm a believer and daydream, daydream believer. Here's another one from New Zealand, like the yellow one. This is the other one. Okay. From but it's New Zealand. Origin, it's theme from the monkey said, hey, child, tomorrow's going to be another day. Take a joint instead. That's rare too. And you just acquired these through the years. Yeah, over the net. I just bought them. There's another yeah. copy from overseas somewhere. You see how the writing's different? Oh, yeah. Look at the titles. Are in what? What is that? Spanish? 
I'm not sure. Mexican. Mexico. All right. We're wrapping it up shortly, but look. Well, this is rare. David Jones single came out. Oh. God bless you. After me. your heart. After and then your you heart. Get shake. Just let me wind it up. This is rare too. Arista Records. That was then. This is now the original single that came out. Never been played from the day it came out. Yep. Arista Records. Record. I love this cover. Arista Records. Look at that. I love that cover. That's from overseas. Oh, yeah. Never that's from, uh, the, the, yeah, from the first album. Yeah, but that's from overseas somewhere. Of course. Okay, hang on. We're nearly there. This one too. Who's got that? Wow, look at that. I love it when we can't see it. There you go. Look at that. We can see there it that. is. There it is. I love that. Okay, here's another one. That's from England, I think. Yeah. Forget that girl. Right, we're nearly at the end. Another one that's rare. I don't know where I've got. I'm like going to collect these over the year now because there's no money. Look at that one. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Little bit me, little bit you, the girl I knew somewhere. That's rare. And as I said, this is the rare one here. I want to, the song I told you, I want to be free. You just may be the one. I want you to listen to You Just May Be The One. I will do that. And I've got to tell you, you you just may be the one was my favorite monkey song by Mike. Then on the second album, when we did the show, I said it was the girl I knew somewhere. But on the second album, the name of the song is called The Kind of Girl I Could Love. The Girl I Knew Somewhere is not even on that album. Oh, my God. I didn't realize that. No, no. It's a song called. See, I've got to. If I make a mistake, I want to come back and tell viewers, right? Because I need should. to keep going the new parts to realize what's wrong in the other. The song is called The Kind of Girl I Could Love, all right, on the second album. That is my favorite song of all time. You know, let me tell you, we've done one hour and seven minutes, and we haven't even tried. I know. It's crazy. But I've been enjoying our little get-togethers. It's our third of, it's our, third of our Beatles. Show me your Beatles what? stuff. What? When we do show me your Beatles stuff, and now we just showed some monkey stuff, <laughs> you can't beat it. There's know, 30, need, 40 minutes gone there. You need to make a show us your monkey stuff so you can go back and forth. No, 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 no. I'm happy with what I did, Chachi. And look, I know you've had a full day today so far, so I'm not going to bore you. But look, you know, number three episode, I can't wait now to put it all over the net because I reckon number three is right on the money. I mean, I'm amazed with everything you pulled out and showed me. And I've got a box here that I'm saving for episode four I haven't shown you. <laughs> I just spent one hour digging all this stuff out, so I don't want to show everything because I'm running out of stuff. Yes. So I've I, made a mess. I don't I want to see any more of your stuff now. And, and I made a mess in my office here. i got to clean everything up. But I'll prepare for episode number four sometime over the next few days. Tomorrow I'll be taping this weekend's show. So Do I'm that, available man. tomorrow. And, um, of course, it's Breakfast with the Beatles with Chachi in yeah. Boston, New Hampshire, and Maine on Saturday and Sundays. Just Google it or ask your smart speaker or go on the Internet and find the show. We play all kinds of alternative versions of Beatles songs and solo Beatles as well. Can I ask you, what time is it on? Saturday mornings, it's on at 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. Sunday mornings, we're on at 10 a.m. to noon. I'll tell you a very good app that plays all the radio stations, What's and I'm that? pretty sure that you'll be on it. Have you heard yeah. of a, an app called TuneIn? That's all. We're on that. Right. So I'll be able to listen to it from my house. Yes, or I can send you a link to the radio station in New Hampshire because they have all the shows archived on their website. You do that, and then what happens is I can sit downstairs, relax while I'm watching us on video. I can play yes. you as well talking. That would be a buzz. And you now, can you can find me on Facebook, Breakfast with the Beatles Chachi. Facebook.com slash Breakfast with the Beatles Chachi. All kinds of photographs of me with John, with Paul and uh, Ringo, and lots of stuff. And you can follow the show. Now, I want everyone to go to that page, and I want everyone to press like. It's not hard. Please. If you like Chachi and myself, you have to go in there and you have to like it. You have to like it, for Christ's sake. If you don't like it, <laughs> if 
Get our locker. You need your head read. Because this man well. is the man. This it's man all, is the best. Thank now, you. It's, it's all about the Beatles. That's what it's all about. Of course. Now, Chachi, I'm going to give you the honors now to take us out. Please do that. Okay, I will do that right now. Ladies and gentlemen, we hope you enjoyed the last hour with Plastic EP. He's from Australia, but he travels the world interviewing people. And uh, he's done a fine job. And now he's my closest friend after three, st three straight days of one-hour episodes. If that's not a fast friendship, then nothing is. And look at the guy. He's handsome, and he loves the monkeys. I'm slightly handsome. And I love the monkeys too, and the Beatles. We all, we both love the Beatles, but we hope to entertain you by showing off our stuff. We're not bragging. We're just saying, hey, this is the kind of stuff that's out there. And we hope you enjoyed a little tour of our collection, but we can go on for hours because he has a ton of stuff. He has a ton of stuff and I have some stuff too. So remember the Beatles, Plastic EP, Chachi LaPrez. Plastic, what time is it over there in Australia? It's 20 past eight, so we've done all right. Could you do I start at 9 a.m. with you? So it's better we started earlier. Now I can have a breakfast. How can you do this so early in the morning? I'm not good until at least noontime. Yeah, but you don't understand what's happening next week. I've got interviews Australian time at 3 a.m. and 4 a.m. I have to get up and do them, and I'll do them. Uh, I can't do that. If I get up at that hour, uh, it will kill me. I, I need no, to get my sleep. I've got important people on, you know. And I've got to make sure that I'm, I've got my best foot forward and I give them that uh, courtesy and get up at 3 or 4 a.m. if they're in L.A. See, the, there's no problem with New York because I yeah. figured the time out. Yeah. When it's 6 p.m. there at night, it's 8 a.m. here. But yeah. with L.A., you're further back. I've got to get up 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. Well, you are a dedicated man and I admire that. And uh, I tell you, you've had some great guests. And I will tell you right now, I'm putting together a list of people that you should interview on your show, and you'll be very happy. You're so kind. And as I said to you, I can't wait to do the radio show with you. And if we can do like the early Beatles and Please Please Me, you yes. know, that'll be a real buzz because the early songs are just fantastic. And we'll pull out right. some we'll pull out some songs that not everybody knows as well. Yes. I love the Beatlemania years. That's what I love the best and stuff from the BBC sessions. And so I look forward to you being on my show very, very soon. But in the meantime, everybody out there who's watching, please be safe during this pandemic. It's happening everywhere, here in Boston and way over there. I mean, over there, and I'm trying to point to you. Oh, there you are. Over We're there. Down under. You know, We're down under. Yeah, you're down under. It's just amazing and sad how this thing has just traveled the world. But be safe, my plastic friend. I love you. And we are friends for life. And as George Harrison said, his last words before he passed, love one another. Thank you, Chachi LaPrette. Your Peace name I'll never forget. Peace and love. Peace and lunch, brother. Peace and love. Stay there.